We want to get you the latest information on a story that is still developing right now. Amazon says it's experiencing issues with its cloud-based computing service, which is used by nearly a million customers. Well, the outage is mostly impacting the largest of the company's platforms, known as S3. Here's the difficulty. It's impacting the internet companies all the way across the country. CNET section editor Dan Ackerman joins us now to explain all of this via Skype. Dan, what do we know? Well, the, the problem here is that Amazon doesn't just, you know, sell you socks and Blu-rays to the mail. A huge part of their business is this. It's the cloud services business where other companies rent space, basically, to run their businesses just using Amazon servers. And one of those big servers, uh, they call it S3, located here on the East Coast in the U.S., is apparently down. We would call it an outage. They're calling it increased error rates. And what does that mean as far as what would trigger this outage, considering it's such a crucial part of Amazon's business? And it's surprising because uh, AWS, Amazon's uh, you know, cloud services, is known for having really good uptime, for having very minimal outages, you know, if, if any, ever. Uh, we don't know what's causing it just yet. Amazon says they think they know what is causing it and are fixing it, but they have not yet said what they think actually happened. And Dan, when we think of Amazon, we always think of these online big superstores where you purchase things, but their server industry is a big part of their business, isn't it? Yeah, it turns out they had to build all these big, uh, you know, servers and cloud computing facilities for their re for their, you know, online retail business. It turns out those are really useful to rent space out to other companies, including some very big companies. Uh, and you could use them to host files, host entire websites, to run software that runs your business. Uh, you know, very few people, you know, host their own web servers anymore. It's all been outsourced to these big providers, and Amazon is one of the major ones. And just to give an example of types of businesses that would be experiencing this, there's um, uh, in one article, Lewis Bamboo, a small family-owned bamboo nursery in Oakland, Alabama, uses this service to show images on their website. So now that this service is down, there's no pictures on their website. There's some other businesses that use it to stream music. So that's down at the moment. Uh, based on how quickly this has happened and how widespread it is, any indication that it's nefarious or something that just went wrong? Yeah, I think you can't have 100% uptime for any uh, web-based service. Uh, Amazon is known for having very little downtime. They had about a five-hour outage a year or two ago on something, and people are still talking about that you know, now, and that shows you how rare it is. I think it's too early to assign uh, any kind of blame or motivation to this. It could just be one of those outages that happens sometimes. I hate to say it, but the Internet is not always very reliable. All yeah. right, Dan Ackerman with CNET. Thank you, Dan. Thank you.